Okay, now we're going to talk about um, reflecting about the x-axis. So here what we have in our definition, it says if y equals the opposite of f of x, this creates reflection about the x-axis. Okay, if you think about it, this makes uh, actually an awful lot of sense because what we're doing here is we are taking the original x and making it negative for the new y value. This all has to do with the symmetry and stuff that we've seen before. Let's look at a picture of what that's going to look like. Now for this one I have chosen to graph a, a different one of the library of functions so we can see I think a little bit better. Here we have the graph of f of x equals the square root of x. This is the square root function. And again, I found these points on here just by plugging into the equation some pretty um, common ones. Like for instance, 0. If I took an x value of 0, the square root of that would be 0. Um, the, if I took the, an x value of 1, the square root of that would be 1 an x value of 4, the square root would be 2, and an x value of 9, the square root would be 3. So this is my original base function that I'm going to work from. Now, let's see what happens if I were to put a negative in front of that square root. And let's take those exact same points again. Oops, let me not go up so high there. Let's say we have an x value of 0. Well, the square root of 0 would be 0, and then if I make, put the negative on it, that doesn't really change it. It's still 0. What if I use the x value of 1? The square root of 1 is 1, and then the negative or the opposite of that would be negative 1. So when I use an x value of 1, I got a y value of negative 1. Do you see what I'm talking about with our symmetry? If we use an x value of 4, the square root of 4 would be 2, and the opposite of that would be negative 2. And again, if we use an x value of 9, the square root of 9 is 3, and the opposite of that is negative 3. So that would be this point right down here. So now we have our graph that would look something like this. So this red curve here is negative square root of x. So if I were to put a negative in front of a function, what it actually does is reflect it about the x-axis. It causes that symmetry that we've talked about before.